will marching up what to Zion is on the beautiful city of God. The hill of Zion hills, a thousand sacred streets. Before we reach the heavenly fields, before we reach the heavenly fields, or oh, walk the golden streets, or oh, walk the golden streets. We are marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. Yon we are marching upwards to heaven is on the beautiful city of God. Then let our songs abound and every tear be dried. We are marching through Emmanuel's ground. We are marching through Emmanuel's ground to Pharaoh, worlds on high, to Pharaoh, worlds on high. We are marching, we are marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. Yon we're marching up was to Zion, the beautiful city of God. What was the number? Three four three. Three four three. I'll sing of my Redeemer. I'll sing of my Redeemer and His wondrous love to me. On the cruel cross He suffered, from the curse to set me free. Sing, oh sing of my Redeemer, with His blood He purchased me. On the cross he sealed my pardon, paid the debt and made me free. I'll tell the wondrous story of my lost estate to save. In his boundless love and mercy, he the ransom freely gained. Sing, oh, sing, oh, my Redeemer, with his blood he purchased me. On the cross he sealed my pardon, paid the debt and made me free. I'll sing of my Redeemer 
and is heavenly love to me. He from death to hath brought me, Son of God, with him to be. Sing, O oh, sing, O oh, my Redeemer, with his blood he purchased me. On the cross he sealed my pardon, paid the debt and made me free. Don't you know the song? I'll we'll be singing it a bit more so that we all get to know the song. We're singing it again. <laughs> I will sing of my Redeemer and his wondrous love to me on the cruel and his suffering. From the curse you set me free. Sing, oh, sing, oh, my Redeemer. With his blood he purchased me. On the cross he sealed my pardon. Paid the debt and made me free. I will tell the wondrous story. How my lost estate to save In his boundless love and mercy He the ransom freely gave Sing, oh, sing, oh, my Redeemer With his blood he purchased me On the cross he sealed my pardon Paid the debt and made me free. I will sing of my Redeemer and his heavenly love to me. He from death to life has brought me, Son of God, with him to be. Sing, oh, sing of my Redeemer. With his blood he purchased me. On the cross he sealed my pardon and fled and made me free. The words didn't help, did they? <laughs> yeah. Another choice? What you say? Above all powers. Do we have words for above all powers, AV team? Above all powers. Above all nature and no created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Okay, should we start from the top? Let's sing like we're having church, okay? Today's Thanksgiving Day, and we've got a lot to be thankful for. Look at the baptismal candidates, okay? So let's go from the top, above all powers. Above all powers, above all kings, 
another verse right okay let's go like a rose like a rose trampled on the ground you took the fall and thought of me above all crucified go from the top is that okay or do we do we have we're out of time okay next time Church. Happy Sabbath. Uh, you see, we've got this habit of being, of wanting to be asked twice. Okay, I'll do it. Afternoon, Church. Afternoon, Church. Happy Sabbath. Is it a beautiful day? It is a beautiful day. Uh, this is one of the most exciting days in our Christian walk when uh, we have such a, a wonderful occasion. You see, I'm a proud uncle today because I see Joshua sitting there. You see, I'm proud of you, all of you guys. I'm sure right now, the Bible says, if one, one, just one soul, there is a big party that happens, happens in heaven. Just imagine what is happening right, right now in heaven. Are we not glad? And we are so excited. So welcome to everybody. Let us pray that... This service that is going to happen here, the Holy Spirit is going to lead us. Uh, we are so happy, so excited. Uh, well, uh, th those are the words I probably I, I can remember, but I'm sure there is more to explain the way we feel this afternoon because uh, God is right here with us and we are going to have a wonderful, wonderful day. Let us pray. Um, Eternal Father God, we take this moment it's such a wonderful moment to come before you, Lord, to 
praise you, to honor you, because you are worthy to be praised. Father God, uh, we come before you this afternoon, Lord, thanking you, Lord, for the spirit, the Holy Spirit that is working amongst us. That, Father God, as we are uh, going to this wonderful service of baptism, Lord, I pray that you would be with us. I pray that, Lord, what's going to happen in here in here, Lord, can change our, can transform our hearts, Lord, can change our minds, Father, and help us look forward to that second coming, Lord. All I pray this in life's name. Amen. We're going to open with 258, two uh, Brother Elias, 258. No? Our opening song will be 258. Uh, 258 Pastor is going to come and lead this one. Baptize us anew with power from on high. With love, O oh, refresh us, dear Savior, draw nigh. We humbly beseech thee, Lord Jesus, we pray. With love and the Spirit, baptize us today. Anybody knows it at all? Okay. Baptize us today with power from on high, with love, oh, refresh us, dear Savior, draw nigh. We humbly beseech thee, Lord Jesus, we pray, with love and the Spirit, baptize us today. And what do we cry? Unworthy we cry, unholy, unclean. Oh, wash us and cleanse us from sin's guilty stain. We humbly beseech thee, Lord Jesus, we pray. With love and the Spirit, baptize us today. O oh, heavenly dove, descend from on high. We plead thy rich blessing in mercy, draw nigh. We humbly beseech thee, Lord Jesus, we pray. With love and the Spirit, baptize us today. Oh, list a glad voice from heaven it came. Thou art my beloved, how oh, pleased I am. We humbly we bless thee, Lord Jesus, we pray. With Lord and adore thee. Amen and amen. Once again, afternoon, on behalf of Leeds Central Church and Leeds New Generation Church, we wish to introduce to you this lovely group of people. Can you, our friends, stand up? Just look at the congregation with a smile and take your seats. Amen once again. Amen. So we thank God once again for this opportunity that he has given us. Um, we are very grateful to the Lord that um, this opportunity has been given to us. And we have about 11, 12 candidates who are ready for baptism today. May his name be glorified. We thank God so much for that. Um, as uh, we have already welcomed you, um, I think um, we have. We don't want to mention your names one after the other because we will do that later. So as um, 
Elder Nkomo said, we welcome once again, we welcome all of you once again to the house of God. And with this great decision, I know God is going to bless you. Some of you, I know your hearts are shaking, but God is going to bless you. Don't be worried at all. I'll hand over to Brother Elder. Happy Sabbath again, church. And God is good. God is marvelous. I just want to thank God for these wonderful candidates. And um, as the Lord wants to speak with you, I pray that we just all listen to the word of God as he bless us. Do you know in Jeremiah 31, verse 3, the Bible says, God loved us with an everlasting love. And because of his loving kindness, he drew us unto himself. That's why Jesus says, no man come unto him, but God draw them. And it is God who draw these wonderful kids unto him today. So we give God thanks because all things done because of God. And I just thank God for your obedience to the joy of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father God, I just want to thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace. Father, I pray that you bless your people. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, your step you're going to take today is to walk with Jesus. And the Bible says in Amos chapter 3, verse 3, what does it say? Can two walk together, lest they agree? Now, we know God is righteous, but we are so unrighteous. But we need three things primarily to walk with Jesus. One, we need the word of God. Amen? Two, we need the Holy Spirit. Three, we need to pray. Because when you look in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, we're going to learn today that it's all because of God and through the Holy Spirit we will do everything. The only thing we need to do is just to submit and obey the leading of the Holy Spirit. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16, it says, and what agreement has the temple of God with idol? For he are the temple of the living God. As God has says, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. Now this word walk, it means to live. And the Bible says it is the Holy Spirit going to what? Walk in us or what? Live in us. The only thing we need to do is to submit to the Holy Spirit. As we spend time reading the word of God, we will allow the Holy Spirit by submitting to the word of God to empower us to do what we cannot do. I know sometimes we, we're going to make our vow, I will, I will, I will. But I'm here to say, it is God in you who will do the work. The only thing we need to do is to submit ourselves with God. Now, the Bible says, Enoch walked with God, all right? Enoch walked with God, and in Hebrew, it says, Enoch have a testimony that he pleases God. When we walk, when we start to begin this journey with God, the ultimate purpose is to please God, amen? But we need the word of God. We need prayer, and we need the Holy Spirit to do what we cannot do. Noah walk with God. Now, we also have the disciple walk with God. We know the story of the disciples. They will have many defects, but God is a merciful God. God never cast them off. We know some stop walk with Jesus like Judas, but if we remain steadfast to God, walk with God, God will never walk away from us. Judas did, and we know the result, but the rest of the disciples walk with God, and even though they have defects and and, 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 and um, different issues, God in his grace and mercy, through the work of the Holy Spirit, God can enable them to be faithful. My beloved friends, prayer, the Holy Spirit, and the word of God is what we need to walk with God. When we obey the word of God, we obey the Holy Spirit. And God is here. Yes, God is coming very soon, my beloved friend. Now is the time when you walk with God. Spend time reading the word of God. Do you know, we eat today. And if we don't eat physical food, we will die physically. The same thing with the spiritual food. We need the spiritual food for us to grow 
and be strong spiritually. We need to pray. Whenever we have issues, whenever we have struggles and trials, let us turn to God. He will always be there for us. The last verse I want to read to you, well, I'll just paraphrase it. My fav- one of my favorite verse, Deuteronomy chapter 31, I believe, ver- believe is verse 8. When God says, I will go before you. I will never forsake you or leave you. This walk, God bring you unto Jesus because you are Savior. He promised us he will never forsake us. He will never leave us. Yes, the enemy is not happy. But the Bible says, when they get baptized, they receive the Holy Spirit. It says, greater in you is greater than in the world. We don't need to be afraid. We just need to keep our eyes on Jesus. Walk with him. Pray with him. Talk to him. And he will bless you. May God help you as you start this new journey with Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, we're going to make some vows. We're going to promise to the Lord and to the church that we will follow him with all his truth and then all his commandments. So what we're going to do is we will ask you some questions from the Bible. What we have already studied is not something new. It is all that we have studied that we are going through. And then we will say, I will or I do. So that is the answer. Or if you don't, you can say no also. All right. (laughs) Okay. So, congregation, are we all ready? The first one is, do you, the candidates, do you believe there is one God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, a unity of three co-eternal persons? Good. Do you accept the death of Jesus Christ on the cross as the atoning sacrifice of your sins and believe that by the grace of God, through faith in his shed blood, you are saved from sin and its penalty? Good. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, believing that God in Christ has forgiven your sins and given you a new heart? And do you renounce the sinful ways of the world? Do you accept by faith the righteousness of Christ, your intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary, and accept his promise of transforming grace and power to live a loving, Christ-centered life in your home and before the world? Good. Do you believe that the Bible is God's inspired word, the only rule of faith and practice for the Christian, do you, do you covenant to spend time regularly and prayer in the Bible study? Good. And do you accept the Ten Commandments as the transcript of the character of God and the revelation of his will? Is it your purpose by the power of the indwelling Christ to keep this law, including the fourth commandment, which is the Sabbath, which requires the observi- our observation of the seventh day of the week as the Sabbath of the Lord, the memorial of creation. Good. And before I hand over to the elder, do you look forward to the soon coming of Jesus Christ, the blessed hope, when this mortal shall put on the immortality As you prepare to meet the Lord, will you witness to his loving salvation by his grace? Good. Thank you. Elder, continue for me. Do you believe that the biblical teaching of spiritual gifts 
and believe that the gift of prophecy is one of the identifying marks of the remnant church? Do you believe in church organization? Is it your purpose to worship God and to support the church through your tithes and offerings and by your personal effort and influence? Do you believe that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and will you honor God by caring for it, avoiding the use of that which is harmful and abstaining from all unclean foods from the use, manufacture, or sale of alcoholic beverages, from the use, manufacture, or sale of tobacco, in any of its forms for human consumption and from the misuse of traffic or of trafficking in narcotics or any other drugs. <laughs> Do you know and understand the fundamental Bible principles as taught by the Seventh day Adventist Church? Do you purpose by the grace of God to fulfill his will by ordering your life in harmony with these principles? Do you accept the New Testament teaching of baptism by immersion and desire to be so baptized as a public expression of faith in Christ and his forgiveness of your sins? Do you accept and believe that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is the remnant church of the Bible prophecy and that the people of every nation, race, and language are invited and accepted into its fellowship? Do you desire to be a member of this local congregation of the World Church? We request pastor to come and help us. On behalf of Leeds Central Church, I move that some of these candidates be accepted into membership at this congregation subject to baptism. I move. And also I make a motion that new generation, new generation church members should also accept these candidates of ours to be members of our church. Is there a second to the motion? Okay, we now have the vote. All in favor that we accept these members of New Generation and Lead Central, members of the church, subject to their baptism. You're already raising your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Any opposed, say the sign. It's carried. To God be the glory. <laughs> We can take our seats. So we now offer a prayer for dedication for the baptismal class. Okay? So let's bow our heads and pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you. We honor your name, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we can come together this afternoon to worship you in this manner. Lord, we have young people, men and women, who have decided to follow you, to let go of the world and give their lives to you, O oh Lord. That you will be in control of their lives, that they'll be faithful to you, they'll listen to you, and they'll follow you wherever you lead them, O oh Lord. Lord, today we dedicate this group of people to follow you, to hear you, O oh Father God. We pray, Lord, that you pour your Holy Spirit on them, that they will dwell in your presence, and that, Lord, they'll be used to serve in your church, O oh God, and they'll go out and share the beauty and the joy and the love that you've given them today with other people, Father God. Father, we pray that you forgive them their sins, cleanse them, O oh Lord, that they can be truly your children, that they can rely on you and call upon you, O oh Lord, and that, Lord, you'll put a hedge around them, that now that they've decided to follow you, the devil will come in with more attacks in their lives. Father, we pray that you protect them, that they'll be safe in your name, in your presence, O oh God. Lord, today we dedicate them to you, that they will follow you wherever you lead them, O oh God. 
And that today, Lord, they will decrease and you will increase in their lives, O oh Lord. They'll, be, they'll become small and you become bigger in their lives, O oh Lord. Lord, that they will be humble, that they'll be, have humility, that they will worship you, Lord, in spirit and truth, Father God. Lord, we dedicate them again to you to let them fully depend on you in everything they do, O oh Lord. Let them allow you to hold their hands. And above all else, Lord, we pray that you come and send your Holy Spirit to dwell in them and lead them to walk with you, to honor you and praise you, O oh God. Lord, this is a new beginning in their lives, O oh Lord. A new beginning where they will serve you. They will not sit still, Father God. They'll be used of you. And Lord, they all have plenty of talents in their lives. Help them to develop them even more that they can help other people to come and enjoy the beauty of holiness and a relationship with you. Father, help them to have wisdom, have understanding, have knowledge, and work and walk with you, O oh Father God. So today, Lord, we pray that you'll hold them close and dear to you and that as they make this decision, Father God, nothing will turn them away from you, that they'll remain faithful and the rest of us church members will embrace them and hold them and bring them to you and encourage them and remind them of this special day that they made a decision to follow you. So, Father God, we praise you, we honor you, we thank you, we glorify your name. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. customary thing, just to point out that one particular brother, he has accepted the profession of faith because he was baptized before. We have a number of rebaptisms, people's personal requests. And this is how we're going to do it. Elder Ofori will announce the candidate that should be baptized. You will come and stand there. If you have a special song or scripture that will be read on your behalf, we will do that as you stand and wait. And then at the appointed time, I will indicate when you come get into the pool and then we do the baptism. Is that clear? Okay, so if you had a special song or somebody's going to say something on your behalf, just queue up yourselves when Elder Tori leads the meeting. Is Norma wrong? Norma? Church. Hello. 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 Um, the first person to be called. Um, the first. Hello? Okay, good. The first person to be called is Caleb Nana Jomo. Yes, Caleb, hold on. Hold on. I've got your favorite song to be hymn number 625. So, and the key text is your favorite text is Isaiah 60, verse 1 to 4. Can somebody read that for us? Then after that, we will sing for Caleb to go forward. Isaiah 60, verse 1 to 4. Let us hear the word of God. Arise, 
time, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is rising upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and across darkness, gross darkness, the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thy eyes round about, and see all. They gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Amen. 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 Him six to five. Him six. Can we sing him six to five as Caleb goes forward? I'm pressing on the upward way. You bright are gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and I shall stand by faith on heaven's stable end. A higher place that I have found, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Caleb, we are so happy for the decision you've made today. I know as a young man, it can be a challenging decision to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior when there's so many things pulling at your heart. But the entire church at New Generation, your family is so proud of you today, this decision you've made. And on the authority of God's word, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The next person is Joshua. Where is Joshua? <laughs> Joshua, what's your favorite text and your favorite song? Sorry? Joshua 1 verse 6, wonderful. Can you see that? Come. Joshua 1 verse 6. Joshua 1 verse 6. And the favorite song is? 313, Jesus is coming again. Yeah, you're coming to sing. Good boy. You're coming to read. Oh, okay. Be strong and of good courage, for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance, the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Amen. 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 Hymn 313, yeah, let's sing. Lift up the trumpet and loud let it ring, Jesus is coming again. Cheer up the pilgrims, be joyful and sing, Jesus is coming again. Coming again, coming again, Jesus is coming again.
Joshua, wow, we're so proud of you. So many times you have indicated your willingness to be baptized. Now is the moment. And I'm sure your dad and your mom are so proud of this decision you have made. Now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I now baptize you. Jesus is coming again, coming in glory, the Lamb that was slain. Jesus is coming again, coming again, coming again. Jesus is coming again. The next person is Christabel Anima Ba. Your favorite text is Joshua 1 verse 9. Can, can you read for us, please? And Elliot, Elliot, come. If you have a special person to read your text for you, then get them ready, please. And it says, I have not commanded you be strong and good courage. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Amen. And the favorite hymn is hymn 530. When peace like a Christabel, now is the moment. It has been a while, but we are so thankful that you have made this important decision to accept Jesus, not only accept him, but publicly declare your allegiance to him. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound, and the Lord shall descend. Even so, it is well with my soul. Amen. Amen. The next person, I like this name. Danilo De Solda. Amen. Amen. What's your favorite text, please? And who is reading for you? Uh, okay, have you got a favorite song? A favorite song. Favorite song. 433. Three. 
Okay, let's sing whilst it's going into the water. No, Jean, Jean, Jean will play the, she was the piano, and we can listen to that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Four, three, three. Oh, it's matching to Zion she wanted. Two two. <laughs> Four two two. Okay. <laughs> Daniello, we are so happy for your decision to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Your family is there. They are so happy for you. And the entire church rejoices with you. I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Those refuse to sing but children of the heavenly king, but children of the heavenly king may speak their joys abroad, may speak their joys abroad. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. Yon we're marching upwards to Zion, the beautiful city of God. The next person to be baptized is Mirabel Nana Opokuare. Her favorite text. In First Peter five verse seven, Elliot to read for us. And it says, "Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you." Amen. 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 What I've forgotten to read is some information here. Um, her talent is that is kind. And a spiritual gift is teaching. What do you say? Amen. The favorite hymn is hymn number 86. Consider all the works thy hands are. 
made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. Thy path throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. My rebel, we indeed see how great God is. Because you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior today. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. When through the woods and forest glades I wander, and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees, when I look down from lofty mountain grandeur, and hear the brook, and feel the gentle breeze. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Amen. Amen. The next person is Andre Ginaldo de Souza. Amen. What's your favorite text and your favorite hymn? Psalm 40, Psalm 40, verse 1 to 30. Somebody should read for us. And the favorite hymn is? Um, uh, Seeking the Lord. Seeking the Lord. Psalms 40, verse 1 to 3, it says, To the chief musician, a psalm of David, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet on a rock, and established my going. And he had put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it, and fear, and shall trust the Lord. Amen. Seeking the lost, yes, kindly entreating, wanderers on the mountain astray. Come unto me, his message repeating, words of the master speaking today. Going afar upon the mountain, bringing the one. Back again into the fall of my Redeemer, Jesus the Andrea, heaven rejoices at your willingness to recommit yourself with your family, even in the watery grave of baptism. I now baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Seeking the Lord, and pointing to Jesus, so that we can assert our soul, leading them forth in ways of salvation, showing the path to life evermore. Going afar upon the mountain, bringing the water into the fold of my Redeemer, Jesus alone.
Amen. Amen. The next person is Shakina Badu. And her key text is Mark 11, 24. The Father is coming to read. Very happy. Amen. Amen. So I read for Shekinah, Mark 11, 24. And it says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Amen. Amen. Shakira's talent is singing. What do you say? Amen. And the favorite theme is N22. N22. Um, can you come forward and sing for us, please? Shekinah, we're so happy for your decision to accept Jesus and even publicly dem demonstrate your allegiance to him. I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I nearly said the next name is Benjamin. Um, <laughs> the next person is Sharon Steven. Sharon, have you got a favorite text and a favorite team? John 3.15. Wonderful. John 3.15. Okay, and your favorite hymn is 1.3. Him, one is. <laughs> Sharon. The paper is not here. It's not here. I think it's Sharon's. Uh, Too so sweet, okay. Okay. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, 
Just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus says the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove the more and all. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Sharon, we are so happy for your decision to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and to publicly dem demonstrate your allegiance to him. Your sister is here, I believe. Is this your sister? Yes, and her mom. And her mom. Hey, mom, where are you? <laughs> yeah, they're happy for you. Now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing, strengthening flood. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him more and all. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Yes, it is sweet to trust in Jesus, just from sin and self to cease. Just from Jesus simply taking life and rest and joy and peace. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him more and all. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, all for grace to trust him. More. The next person is Shallow. Yeah. Shallow, what's your favorite text and favorite hymn? John 3 15. And then the favorite hymn is 183. That is the hymn. John 3 15. Can somebody read for us? John 3, 15. John 3, 15. John 3, 15 reads that everyone who believes in may have eternal life. I will I'll probably read it from John 14. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness so that the, man, so that the Son of Man must be lifted up, and verse 15, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life in him. Amen. Amen. I will sing of Jesus' love, sing of him who first loved me for he left. Bright words above and died on Calvary. I will sing of Jesus' love, endless praise. My heart shall give ears thine, that I might live. I will sing his love to me. Charlotte, we are so happy for your decision to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you are making this decision along with your family members, and it is a proud moment for the entire family and for the church. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All the depths of love divine at all hand can never know how that seems as dark as mine 
can be made as white as snow. I will sing all the hills as love endless praise. My heart shall live as I that I might live. I will sing his love to me. Amen. The next person is Ronald Lee. Yeah, Baptist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite text? It's a Psalm 37, verses 23 to 25. Psalm 37, verse 23 to 25. And the favorite hymn is? Uh, oh, let me walk with thee, my God. Oh, let me walk with thee, my God. Ron, we are so happy that you have decided to recommit yourself to Christ today. Your boys are watching and they are proud of their daddy. <laughs> we now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I cannot dare not walk alone. The tempest rages in the sky. A thousand snares beset my feet. A thousand falls are lurking nine. Still thou the raging of the sea. Oh, Master, let me walk with thee. I've been moved by the key text, and I'm going to memorize it. What do you say? Yeah. The last, but not the least, <laughs> is Rebecca D'Souza. Yeah. Rebecca, also key text. It hasn't got any. What about um, favorite hymn? 100. It's my Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, and fail not. As thou hast been in the forever, 
Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning through his mercies I sing. Oh, I have need that thy hand has provided, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. Rebecca, we all are proud of your decision today. The youngest among the set. And she is a shining example to our children of one who is willing to give their heart to Jesus at this early age. Now we baptize you, Rebecca, and your mom is looking on, your dad is Fleming, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Summer and winter and springtime and harvest Sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in money for witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I sing. All I have need that thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. It has been a wonderful experience to see individuals accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior and take this public stand for him. Is there anyone here who has witnessed what has happened and recognized that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you to make your calling and election sure? Is there anyone who wants to prepare for the next baptism? We can't leave the pool and somebody is given the opportunity to decide. Anyone? The Holy Spirit is speaking to each heart. Many of you are here witnessing this service, and the Spirit is speaking to you to get your life in order. And we hope and pray that you would not lose the opportunity that he's granting to you. You have seen these folks deciding for Jesus. Today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. God is speaking to you. Anyone? wants to say I want to start Bible studies I want to start to prepare my journey to walk with Christ anyone heaven would register your decision today and support you yes my friend <laughs> yes my friend anyone else yes yes Kenil. yes <laughs> God is seeing those hands and he's taking note and he will give you the baptism affirming their decision to walk with you every step of the way. Uphold them with your free spirit. Give them the power and the strength they need to walk with you day by day. And we appreciate the two candidates who have said they want to walk with you one day. They want to be baptized. So as we help them on this journey, give them the combination to stand firm and stand for Jesus. Be with those who are still deciding. Many are here who have not accepted you as Lord and Savior. We pray that you may give them no rest until they make up their minds to follow you every step of the way. Thank you for those who have participated, for all the elders and the deacons, the deaconesses, and all those who are instrumental so that this program can be a success. We give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Keep us faithful on you until that day when you shall say, well done, thou good and faithful servants. Lord, rescue us from the pit of sin and save us in your eternal kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
294. We're singing him 294. 294 power in the blood. Would you be free from your bed in our sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you live daily in his victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lord. Passion and pride, there's power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for the cleansing to cover his time, there's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. Number 10, come Christians join to sing. Oh, 
show His goodness will adore Singing forevermore Alleluia, Amen You know, we're still in our Thanksgiving Day mood So if anyone who still got a testimony who didn't get an opportunity to share in the morning just lift your hand or just come up front um you will, give, you will get an opportunity to share is that okay so as we're seeing anyone who still, who still wants to share a testimony that they can they didn't get an opportunity in the morning just lift your hand we'll bring a mic to you or if you want to come you can come up i'll come up here him three four zero Jesus saves. Three four zero. We have heard a joyful sound, Jesus says, Jesus says, spread the gladness all around, Jesus says, Jesus says, bring the news to every land, climb the steeps and cross the waves, on what is a lost for man, Jesus says, Jesus says. Wrapped in on the rolling tide, Jesus says, Jesus says, tell the sinners far and wide, Jesus says, Jesus says, sing ye highlands of the sea, echo back ye ocean caves, and shall keep a jubilee, Jesus says, Sing above the birds of strife, Jesus says, Jesus says, by his death and endless life, Jesus says, Jesus says, sing his song through the gloom, when the heart for mercy craves, sing in triumph for the tomb, Jesus says, voice, Jesus says, Jesus says, let the nations now rejoice, Jesus says, Jesus says, shall salvation full and free, highest hills and deepest caves, this a song of victory. Three, four, one. Three, four, one. To God be the glory. The new, to the God first, the first the one. be the glory great things he has done so loved he the world and he gave us his son who healed and his life and no man for sin and open the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let 
Good evening again, everyone. We are indeed happy for our candidates. And this is the moment where we present to you your baptismal certificates and a baptismal pack. And the church extends the right hand of fellowship to you, letting you know that you're welcome into the family of God. And it's a proud moment, not only for the church, but for heaven. And we all rejoice, enjoying the party with heaven as we celebrate the decision you have made today. We'll ask our candidates to just come to the front again. You'll be on display again. <laughs> and with the assistance of the clerk and the elders, we will present Your, candid, your baptismal certificate. Um, Sister Rebecca D'Souza. Her ah, youngest. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> Amen, amen. Brother Joshua Lewande. Amen, Joshua. Amen. amen. <laughs> Sister Charlotte Smalls. Charlotte, okay, congratulations. Amen. Come give them an amen. amen. <laughs> Brother Ronald Lee Baptist. Amen. Ron Baptist. Amen. <laughs> Sister Sharon Stevens. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Andrea Ginaldo de Souza. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Danilo D'Souza. Amen. Amen. That's it. Where the others? Hello. 
Come and assist me, man. <laughs> Shakina. Amen. Amen. Christopher. Amen. Benjamin. Benjamin. Amen. Caleb. <laughs> Congratulations. Amen. Now we're going to ask you to put your packs below so that we can have an opportunity to greet you. Ask the elders to first come and extend the right hand of fellowship. <coughs> and then we'll just go in an orderly fashion. Probably you can go from my, my right, or your right to my left, from this side, come right around, go through the, end, the back doors, and then assume your seat again. We have no music. Jeannie's gone. <laughs> Can't you play? <laughs> Avi, do you have any music? Guys, go this way.
talk in the language of Canaan. I could tell a little of the glory of a better world. Oh, that I could talk in the language of Canaan. a better world. Where there is no night and the Lamb is the light. Where no teardrops fall. Oh, heaven, it's not like here at all. In the language of Canaan, I can tell a little of the glory ooh, of a better world. The wonderful things the Lord showed me there, I cannot describe. I saw their tables of stone in which the names of the multitude of the redeemed were engraved in letters of gold. After we gave up the glory we came out and Jesus left the city. Soon we heard his lovely voice again saying, Come, come, my people. You have come out of great tribulation and done my will, suffered for me. Come in to supper, for I myself will serve you. And we shouted, Alleluia, glory, and entered into the city. And I saw a table of pure silver. It was many miles in length, and yet our eyes could extend over it. I saw the fruit of the tree of life, the manna, almonds, figs, pomegranates, grapes, and many other kinds of fruits. And then Jesus said, you must go back to earth again and relate to others what I have revealed to you. And then an angel bore me gently down to this dark world. Sometimes I think I can stay here no longer. All things of earth look so dreary. I feel lonely here. For I have seen a better place, a better land. Oh, for wings like a dove, so that I could fly away. I sail across the river shore, ooh, to a better place.
We shall now ask the candidates to take their seats and we we'll just have ah uh, well one <laughs> last person. Hmm? Okay, we can have a picture, so don't move yet. indeed has been a wonderful experience and we're gonna bring our service to a close let's just stand and sing that famous chorus side by side we stand awaiting God's command worshiping the saving King Side by side we stand, awaiting God's command, worshiping the saving King, living by His grace, living by His grace, and moving on in faith. Jesus Himself will see us true. Meet me in heaven. Meet me in heaven, we'll join hands together. Meet me by the Savior's side. I'll meet you in heaven, we'll sing songs together. Brothers and sisters, I'll be there. Soldiers all are we? Soldiers all are we to go where Jesus leads. We'll fight in faith and we will overcome. Heaven is our goal and saving every soul. Pray that we all will be there. Meet me in heaven, everybody. Meet me in heaven, we'll join hands together. No more COVID. Meet me by the Savior's side. I'll meet you in heaven, we'll sing songs together. No more mask. Brothers and sisters, I'll be there. Meet me in heaven, we'll join hands together. Meet me by the Savior's side. I'll meet you in heaven, we'll sing songs together. Brothers and sisters, I'll be there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, we all will be there. Uh, shall we bow our heads in prayer? Our Lord and kind Savior, we are so grateful that you brought us here and to witness a special occasion where people have openly shown to give their allegiance to you. Lord, it's a very important decision they've made, if not the most important decision of their lives. Lord, as they move forward, and as we move together, help us to strengthen one another. Where we fall, help us to help each other to rise up so that we can go for that ultimate goal to be with you, Lord, to, to be with our loved ones. Bless us as we 
go to our different ways, but not away from your loving presence. Bless everyone that has attended. Bless everyone that will be touched by this service. And those, Lord, that have made a, a, a willingness to start a, a supper school, a, a baptismal lesson, we ask that you strengthen their cause. Be with them as they continue to take this, these steps forward. To be with you, Lord, and to be, get their guidance from you. No matter what the devil does, help us to be strong and to be strengthened in your cause. For this we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Have a pleasant week, everyone. Organizing Committee for Leeds Central. Remember, we're going to meet shortly after, so don't disappear. And the candidates will have a special picture being taken now.